mean what other games were like at that time because they made it all onto a, they made it all like on a computer and stuff but to me that still looks absolutely beautiful and I love it and the gameplay with it's just absolutely great it is one of the most ripped off games you can ever play because they always have two computers that are good and the rest are mediocre to shit and you use a farsi to get away from them and they're still on your fucking ass and you're like hang on you just had a banana how are you doing my speed when I got a fucking golden mushroom and then before you know it one of them will crash and then one of the crappy computers will be coming up next to you and then you spin out and then before you know it he's halfway around the track and you're like I can't fucking catch him because that's how the game works they work it out if you've got a crap computer that's in front of you you will not be able to catch it unless you hit it with like fucking free lightning bolts that's how ripped off the game can be but it makes it fun it gives an actual challenge pisses my mum off uh, she some of the tracks she still struggles with and she's been playing it with me for about Shit, we'll be coming up to 20 years soon. It's what? It's 2013 now. Game came out in 96. I've probably been playing it since 97. I re oh, this is going back myself. I remember going to like my local Kmart when I used to live in Ballarat. And they used to have a gaming system set up in the games room with Mario Kart on it. And I used to just run straight there kick off the little kid that was on it and absolutely play that until my mum was ready to leave the store I was so good at that I used to be able to pick it up when I was like how old is I? I was five in 96 so five years old pick up the controller go to the hardest difficulty of 150 cc because it's not that difficult and just rape and pillage all the computers on it it was beautiful I loved it and it was going to be my first Nintendo 64 game too. I saved up $100 for it. I'm going to buy my new game because I used to just rent games because it was a lot cheaper back then to rent. Or hire, as they call it. But my sister didn't like Mario Kart at the time. So I chose a game that, you know, we'd both in thought, well I thought, that we'd both enjoy. Because, you know, I'm friendly like that. I like to play with people. I don't like to play by myself. Even though I'm contradicting myself now, playing by myself in this for like an hour and a half. So instead of Mario Kart 64 being my first Nintendo 64 game, I got Super Mario 64. Now, that scared me a few times that game. I was 5 or 6 when I got that, so. And I found it hard, and then. I remember when I like lost my hat on like the windy levels and I kept getting blown off from height and I was like afraid of height or oh, beautiful backflip that used to scare me and I stopped playing it like I'm pretty sure I just did the main point get like the 60 stars kill bows and that was it I never went back and finished it and while I got it on DS, I fully clocked it on DS. It was a lot easier on DS because I'm somewhat older, so I knew what I was doing. Plus the fact that they added multiple characters into it, so I got all 150 stars on that. But I still made the same mistake when I got the GameCube. The first game I got on that was Luigi's Mansion because I'm like, oh yeah, me and my sis can enjoy this, and that game scared me and didn't clock it until about three years ago oh my guy's arms all twisted it's okay it's all fixed now yeah I think three or four years ago I went back to it to finish it because it scared me and I can't remember what year that came out in 02 03 so I might have been like 10 maybe 12 later on I can't remember what year that came out in but that scared me so like, I wasn't a huge fan of 64, Super 64 Mario, uh, but it was a decent game. But, like, Mario Kart was where it's at. That and Super Smash Brothers. They're, like, my two most played games. 
Probably third most played game probably would have been South Park Rally. God, that was so much fun. And those snowball kids and Iggy's wrecking balls. It's really disappointing. I could not buy that game. Could not find that anywhere except for a local video store. So I always had to rent it. Pretty sure I offered to buy it off them too, and they said no, which pissed me off. It's such a fun game, and I've tried to get emulators for it, and they don't work. As you can tell from my short-lived series of Blast from the Past, the game kept freezing up after like the eighth or ninth race. I know that I'm not trying to zero fault this and how I keep failing, I've got like five fault. That's because I remember this track on Evolution on my Xbox and I played this for five hours straight trying to get this done with no faults. It pissed me off because those fucking pipes, oh there was hell to be paid with those pipes. Let's just put it that way. So I'm getting through a decent amount of these. I've got like 71 medals. Knocking them out pretty decently. I think that was like my first or second problem. But I don't care. So I might call it quits soon. I'm getting a bit of a low sugar rush. The adrenaline and the caffeine's all starting to kick out. Oh, I forgot that did that and I hit my head and died. Okay. And so yeah, I gotta get up tomorrow. I gotta go to Rupo, Rupert's Wood. I think I gotta go to tomorrow uh, to do my radio. I'm back on the radio Saturdays from half past one in the afternoon on 100.7 Highlands FM, the voice of the Rangers. Or you can go to HighlandsFM.org.au to listen to us on the interwebs. In case you can't get reception, not gonna try and zero fault this. Be happy with one fault. And so, yeah, so I've got that, and I've still got another essay that I need to finish. I got to finish that by midnight on Monday. That's 2,500 word research essay, so. And certainly just gonna be the beginning, but. At least I think I've got more, I think I've got a better idea of what to write for this one, because it talks about, I'm doing a 2500 research essay on YouTube, and how people use it as a social media, and how they link with their, um, their viewers, and how they actually treat it as like a Facebook, how they treat it as a social media thing, so I've got great experience with that. So I'm going to be happy to talk about that. Trouble, 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 not trouble, trouble. So yeah, and also on Monday I've got a pitch presentation to do for a couple of clients. With my group at PNM Media, I think that's what we're called. Ah, uh, uh, no, it's for uni, it's like a major project where we got real clients. And we have to design stuff like we're good. We're hoping to design a, um, a promotional video for either of our two clients of this school because they specialize in sports but they're not like a sports academy they're still technical high school they do like normal education but they mix it in with designated sports so it's pretty cool so over it I'll pick us we've got some great ideas to, of us to film so if we can present that across so that's Monday as well and after that well, after that, we gotta. If we get picked by one of them, we gotta design a um, uh, production report or something like that to give to them. To be basically saying, this is what we're gonna do, this is what it's gonna look like. And that's due like two weeks after. So, two weeks into my holidays, I'm still working on stuff. And of course, I got an exam which falls on a fucking Saturday. Which pisses me off twice because one, that's coming into my time, that's coming into a fucking weekend. I gotta go all the way in to freaking Rod Laver Arena and sit a goddamn three hour exam on freaking market research, which I absolutely hate. And two, I won't be able to be on the freaking radio because it's on at 2 pm. So, ugh, fucking frustrated. 
So I got to study up hard for that. Did a um, a small practice exam for that. And what I thought was the easy part, I struggled on, which was multiple choice. I got like one out of three for that, but like short writing and analysis, I did decent on. So I'm not feeling too freaked out about it. Like for exams, I I always understudy, and I always, you know, perform better than what I reckon I perform. So I'm not going to panic too much about studying. I will study, but. I'm not going to be like, oh, i got like 18 hours to study all this. Yeah. It will sink in my head. <laughs>